I didn't think to record this, but I'm going to try to get at least the last part of these wings. Um, I made a little hot um, honey um, mustard. Um, these are hot wings. I got some garlic, um, just a little bit of mustard, some hot sauce, um, butter, honey. Please ignore how bad uh, the place looks. I do need to clean up. There are a few things I want to do additionally to this board. Let's bring it in here. Get a little light on. I have these magnets um, and it's hard to tell that they, they only stick on one side. So like, like this side is the correct side that side is it so it's kind of hard to tell just looking at it because it's both sides are black so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up with a just paint a little design on the front so that way i will know uh, which way those should go on another thing uh, i was thinking about since this is the space right here where the chalkboard will go. And it is right next to, uh, if you saw my other video when I made the holders for the trays, um, I painted those um, with this sort of gold paint. And I thought, just so everything is kind of matching, I realized that these days I'm really uh, kind of liking uh, gold a little bit more these days um, I used to just kind of like I guess silver but um, I like a I like a copper really that's that's copper so like copper gold but what I thought if I paint this also the same um, copper or gold uh, these so yeah, that's just um, just a few things I want to add. Um, and then you didn't get to see the board hung on the wall from the last video. There may be something else going on in this video, but definitely I'm going to do those two things. And yeah, hopefully you'll come with me uh, as I do them. Thank you. <laughs> doing something simple like that and then I will use the gold spray paint and just paint that so I will have to do this I think I have 17 of these <laughs> 17 times or maybe I can just use this but I think it'll go pretty quickly so that I found um, this must have went to a dry erase board that I had at some point um, I'm not really sure where I got this, but 
This is gonna come in handy. Uh, I thought I would have to buy an eraser for the chalk, but um, this will totally work. So yeah, don't have to worry about that anymore. slash orgy slash drug fuel dance orgy party in the desert love seeing burning man devolved into chaos not me There's lots of my days and on the mag Yeah, I was kidding. 
kink shaming him and violating his privacy, which I did, you know, violate his privacy. But and the problem is, you know, we live at his home with two his two kids who are twenty and seventeen. I have an independent relationship with them both, and I shouldn't, you know, that's not okay. But at the same time, I don't want to just leave without a reason of any kind, and I don't want to like her in the situation. So I guess I need help understanding what would be appropriate in this, you know, what's okay to tell them. I don't want to paint a picture of his dad better being a piece of shit. It's time to uh, take the tape off of the magnets. Let's see how these came out. You should be able to see this, right? Oh. <laughs> Here we go. So, it's not perfectly symmetrical. Um, but that's okay. I just wanted a way to uh, be able to tell which side would go on the board. So I've got 16 more of these to take apart uh, to get the tape off of. So let's get that done. The only other thing I have to do to the chalkboard is just uh, put some type of apparatus or <laughs> not apparatus, but put some um, something to hang it with on the back. I have these one 
sort of things in my work. These right here, I'm not sure yet. So it may be these. See, let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So these are all done. Now, um, yeah, I just need to put the um, the hangers on the back of the chalkboard, and then we can get it hung, and then we can add these, and we'll be almost at the finish line. So I have the hangers on the chalkboard now and I'm going to use um, a uh, square um, with some tape on it to put it onto the wall. That's the only part that's left. I just got to put some screws into the wall and we can get this hung and we'll be finished. But let me just show you how that looks real quick. So you can see. I got the hangers on. Okay, I told me that I'm um, so the owners on the And I just sale. measured where I want the screws to go. And I will take this with the blue tape, transfer this to the wall, and I will use a, a left level. By put that on top of there. Once I have I it on the wall, looking for me and to, we will put uh, the him uh, screws into the wall, and then we can just hang this and we'll be finished. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. I am trying to finish up the chalkboard, uh, get it put into the space. Um, that last ideal I showed you <laughs> with the square and putting the blue tape on, it didn't work because the area is smaller um, than the uh, square. So I couldn't actually put it up there. So um, you probably just saw, I just took the chalkboard put it up against the wall, uh, had uh, a pencil, and I just marked off on the corners where I'm gonna put the screws into the wall. So, I probably will just drill a little hole first, um, then screw those, um, um, get the screws into the wall, and then uh, I can hang that, and then I'll show you a final picture of that.
So the level says it's level. I'm gonna go with that. Let's take a look at it. So now you can see the copper uh, matches the copper up here. So it's more of a cohesive look. Yeah, I like it. It works for me. I just got to get some um, some smaller pieces of chalk. Uh, sorry about my hair. <laughs> uh, just got up and wanted to finish the video. So I really um, appreciate that you went along with me for this second part of uh, finishing the chalkboard. I just noticed that on the last video, I, I kind of abruptly ended it. And then I had some further ideas about um, how I could make this uh, look better. So I wanted to um, add those details and give you a second part. So um, I hope that uh, two weeks of working on the chalkboard uh, wasn't too much for everybody. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy uh, the, this video, this week's video. And um, yeah, please join me next week when we'll have something completely different. It won't be about the chalkboard at all. So thank you for watching. Um, join me next week on Michael Meg Gill.